Now, see next topic is conservative and non conservative forces. A force is said to be conservative if work done by or against the force in moving body depends on initial and final positions of the body. That is, it does not depend on the nature of the path followed. For example, like a gravitational force, electrostatic force, and a spring force, magnetic force, these are the examples of the conservative forces. So, work done by these forces are independent of the path followed. Now, non conservative forces, a force is uh, non conservative if work done by or against the force in moving the body depends on the path. For example, frictional force, work done by frictional force depends on the path followed. So, take the example of the conservative forces, as I have told you the gravitational force is the example of the conservative forces. Suppose, you have taken body like this and whose weight is acting downside that is F mg and now this mg is acting downside, you apply equal force that is F equal to mg and take the body to the height h. Then the work done by the force is equal to W is equal to mg h because the direction and h both are direction of the force applied and h both are in the same direction. And this force is equal to mg gravitational force, so we can write the work done is equal to mg h. Now, take another example, suppose you have taken any inclined plane like this and here is also this height is h, this is theta, this we can take a, b and c. Any object is here whose mass is m. So, its gravitational force is acting mg to this side. You take its component, this is theta, here mg cos theta and this side is mg sin theta. Now, you are moving the body from A to C. So, the work done is equal to mg sin theta into A C. So, we can write m g sin theta can be written here b c upon a c into a c cancel. So, that is m g h. So, whether you take the body directly from this to this point work done is m g h and or you take the body from a to c along the inclined plane then also the work done is m g h. So, this actually depend on initial and final position whose height is h similarly here and here. It does not depend on the nature of the path followed. So, work done by the conservative forces are independent of the path followed. And similarly, if the you are taking a to here suppose a to b and then you are coming b to a. So, the total work done by conservative force in a round trip is 0. So, if you are taking A to B and B to A coming back to the A point, the total work done by the conservative force is 0. So, now see work done by non conservative forces. So, see here non I have given the example of the non conservative force. So, that is a frictional force. Suppose a body is moving here from this position to this that is A to B, frictional force is acting to this side. So, work done by the frictional force is negative and it depends on the path followed. So, basically it depends on the nature of the path followed.